Hi everyone! I hope you're having a fantastic Friday and I'm so glad that you're able to join me today for some yoga. We're going to start off our practice in a comfortable seat. My legs are crossed. You can certainly have those legs stretched out if that feels better. Let's just begin by rocking the hips a few times side to side, loosening up the lower back. And once you're feeling a little more Relax there. Go ahead and do the same thing with the hands. Just shake out the hands, releasing the wrists, releasing the fingers, any tension you might be holding there. And then let the hands just rest, palms down on the knees. Gently press the hands into the knees and use this pressure to help you sit up a little bit taller. Take a big breath in through the nose. When you're ready, open your mouth and let it out. Ha! <sighs> Let's do that one more time. Breathing in through the nose, bigger breath. Let it out. <sighs> Very nice. From here, let the chin drop to the chest. Inhaling just through the nose. As you exhale, tilt your right ear towards your right shoulder. Feel that stretch. Inhale, lower the chin back down. And then exhale. Tilting the left ear toward left shoulder. Let's try that again, side to side, inhaling the chin down. Exhaling, ear toward shoulder. Inhaling, chin lowers. And exhale, ear toward shoulder. Inhale, lower your chin down, and now as you exhale, Lifting through the crown of the head, imagining there's a string pulling you up. Open the arms, inhale, lifting all the way up, stretch. And now exhale, bring the hands down to your shoulders. Start to draw circles with the elbows, going one direction. Take this slow, just warming up the shoulders. You'll also notice the chest and heart beginning to open up. Also the lungs now going the other direction. Breathing in and breathing out. The next time you lift the elbows up, just inhale, arms stretch back up. And exhale, float the hands down to your knees. Bringing now the opposite foot in front or changing your seat however you need a little rock once more and then finding neutral we'll begin to circle the hips going one direction take this circling as slowly as you need breathing in as you come forward and out as you go back the next time you come forward Simply reverse your circling, inhaling forward, exhaling back. If you notice there's a particular spot where you're feeling extra tight or tense, maybe stopping there and pausing. Now, the next time you come to the center, again, use those hands pressing in the knees, sitting up nice and straight. We're going to stretch our right leg out, seated tree pose. If this left hip or knee is bothered by this position, change it in any way you need, or perhaps just add a blanket or a pillow underneath of your knee for support. Point your toes, and then flex the toes of the right foot. Open your arms. We're going to take a big stretch now as you exhale. Come forward as far forward as feels good. Let's try that a few rounds. Inhale to reach up. And exhale to fold. Inhale to lift. And exhale to fold. One more time. Maybe this last round we can go a little bit deeper. And exhale. Inhale, lift up. With your exhale, lower your hands and lift your left knee. Bring that left foot as close to you as you can. Now using the right hand under the knee or the crease of the right elbow, begin to open your left arm to the left 
and now exhale, twist to the left. Flexing still into the right toes, relax the fingers of the right hand, turning your gaze to the left, or maybe looking behind you. Take a big breath in and out. Inhale, return to the center out of that cleansing pose, and then exhale, shake out the legs. Very good. Let's try that same sequence on the other side. From here, moving into a seated tree pose. Make sure the right knee is feeling okay. Point your toes of the left foot and now flex. Hold this position. Inhale, lift up, reach up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale to lift, to stretch. And exhale to fold forward. Moving with your breath, not forcing anything to happen. Just doing what you can do today in this moment. One more. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale. Inhale, arms stretch up to the sky. And exhale, we float the hands down, lifting the right knee. Left hand below the knee, walk that foot as close to you as you can. Flexing into the left toes, right arm stretches over to the right and then lowers behind you. Try not to lean back, you're twisting. Twisting from the chest, twisting from the midline, twisting from the lower back. Take one more big breath in. And now exhale, return to the center. Shake both legs out. And with that, we'll swing our legs around into our table pose. Now, wrists come under the shoulders here. Spread the fingers wide. Start to slide your knees back, but keep the weight shifted forward. So the knees are now behind the hips. The shoulders are above the wrist. This is our modified plank. Very important here, guys. Engage the core, squeezing, pulling the belly in towards the ribs. Look forward on the floor. Lengthen the back of the neck. Taking a deep breath in and out. You should be shaking, breathing in. And now, modify plank one more time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And now begin to shift the weight back. Knees open wide. Child's pose. Taking rest. Arms can stay stretched out or hands can rest under the head. Take a few moments here to relax. Feel those hips opening up a little more. Breathing into all the yummy sensations this pose offers you. Breathing in through the nose. Open your mouth and let out a big sigh. Ha. <sighs> Lifting up to your hands and knees now. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Take your right leg, extend it back, tucking the toes under. Gazing forward, lengthen your neck. Now lifting the leg, core engaged, step your right foot forward. Slowly rise up to kneeling lunge, arms sweep up. Shoulders dropping down, gazing forward or maybe gazing up. Finding your balance, breathing in and breathing out. One more time, inhale here. Exhale, lower the hands, return to your table. Shift the weight forward, walk the hands forward, shoulders above wrist, knees behind hips, second round, modify plank. Engage the core, squeezing in with an option to stretch the legs out, keeping the hips parallel with the earth, Pressing the heels back. Breathing in and out for one. Breathing in and out for two. Squeezing tighter, protecting and strengthening the lower back. One more breath. 
lower the knees. If they're lifted, we'll all open our hips again. Stretch it out. Child's pose. Breathing here. As the breath grows deeper, the mind quiets. The body already feeling more open. Taking a deep breath just in and out of the nose to finish. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. And rise up to table. Very good from here. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, left leg stretches back. Tuck the toes under, then lift the leg, breathing in. Exhale, left foot steps forward. However you need to get it there, guys. And then find that kneeling lunge. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. One more time. Breathing in. Stretch up. Exhale. Lower the hands and return to the table pose. Hands and knees. Now we're going to lower onto our abdomen. So coming down onto our forearms. We call this pose Sphinx Pose. Palms are facing down. Elbows are under the shoulders, stacking those joints. Feet are about hip distance apart. Gaze is forward. Now, squeeze the belly tight. Press the forearms into the earth, lifting the chest. Breathing in and breathing out. Back bends are energizing, breathing in. And out, creating a more flexible spine, improving blood flow and circulation throughout the entire body. One more breath here, guys. Hear that ocean calming sound of the breath. And then lower down all the way, bringing the he hips, or excuse me, the heels towards your hips, rocking side to side. Maybe circling one direction and circling the other direction. Stretch your legs out. Bring your hands back under you. And now slowly lift up to table. From table pose, begin to tuck the toes under. Lift the knees. Lift the hips. And come into Downward Dog. If Downward Dog is not happening, return to Child's Pose. Or maybe take another stretch that would feel good here. The feet are hip distance apart, maybe a little wider. Bend and straighten the legs. Nod the head. Yes and no. Finding stillness in this Downward Dog, look forward and begin to walk the feet to the hands, hands to the feet. Rising vertebrae by vertebrae. Use those hands and the legs to help you. And just inhale, big reach up. Exhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Palms facing out, toes pointing forward. Feet are just hip distance apart. So notice all the major joints here are stacked. Shoulders above hips, hips above knees, knees above ankles. Not leaning to one side or the other, pressing firmly down through both feet. We are grounded, we are rooting down into the earth, but still lifting to the top of the head, feeling uplifted and energized. Now we inhale, lift the arms up as you exhale, bring those hands back to the shoulders. Similar to what we did earlier, seated. This time coming into a side stretch. So we're going to inhale here. As you exhale, begin to think of a seesaw, just stretching over to the right. Inhale, lift up. And exhale to the left. Now try that again. Just inhale and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more 
more times, side to side. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Return to the center. Inhale, elbows and arms reach up. Exhale, floating the hands down. Very good, everyone. From here, begin to press down into the right foot. So right foot presses down. Make sure you've got some room behind you. You might want to step forward if you don't have a lot of space. Now, from here, with the hands on the hips, making sure the hips are square, pointing forward, pressing down into the right foot, begin to lift your left heel. As you lift your left heel, your balance is challenged. It may be helpful to hold on to something if needed to scoot closer to a wall, or it may be helpful here to find that spot in front of you to gaze at, that meditative focus. Now, keep standing up tall, pressing down through the right foot, breathing in. As you exhale, begin to slide the left toes back. So the left toes are still on the ground here, guys. Pressing down into the right foot, shifting the weight forward. This is a warrior three preparation. Engage your core, the toes are still down. Maybe the arms open, maybe the leg lifts. Maybe, lots of maybes in our yoga practice. If the leg is lifting, how high can you lift it? Take another breath in. And now everyone place the entire back foot down. Turn the toes out and lift up. Warrior one, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Bring the hands down to your heart, prayer pose. Breathing in as you exhale, turn to the right. Adding a warrior one twist. Now you can stay right here in this cleansing pose or maybe go deeper by bringing the opposite elbow down towards opposite thigh. Breathing in and out. Know what's best for you. One more breath here. And then unwind the spine. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Float the hands down. Lower your back knees, step it back to hands and knees. Take it slow, tuck the toes under, lift the knees, lift the hips, downward dog. Walk it out. Remember, if downward dog's not an option, find something that is. Take that dog for a walk, bend and straighten the leg. We've got walls we can use at home as well. Right, so see what works for you today. Now, start to lift from your downward dog, walking the feet towards the hands, or hands towards the feet, right back into that rag doll. Breathing in, let's take a moment hanging out here, open your mouth, let out a sigh. Ha. <sighs> Use the hands to help you, rising up, breathing in, reaching all the way up. Exhale, returning hands to your hips, Tadasana Mountain. Breathing in and out, shoulders back, head lifted, heart and chest open wide. Slide the hands to your hips. Remember, use the wall if you need. Make sure you've got lots of room behind you. Pressing down now through the left foot, start to lift your right heel. Breathing in and out. Left foot down, right heel lifted. Breathing in and out. Slowly, when you're ready, slide the toes of the right foot back. You're still resting with the toes tucked under. Bending into your front knee, that left knee. Shift the weight forward, warrior three or airplane preparation. Keep breathing. Open the arms, maybe use a wall to help. Stay here, you're using your core a whole lot. Or maybe 
Maybe we're lifting, lifting that leg up. You choose, breathing in and out. If the leg is lifted, go an inch higher. And now we'll all place the foot down. Warrior one, lift it up. Breathing in. Great work, and out. Shoulders down, head lifts. We are strong, we are courageous. We can do anything. Inhale your hands to your heart, exhale, twist to the left. Stay right here. If you're up for it, using the core, bringing opposite elbow to opposite knee. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. One more breath. Make it count, then slowly lift out of that twist. Stretch it up. Very nice. Lower the hands. And now, bring the hands around the foot. Lower your back knee down. Lower down to table pose. Rock your hips a few times here. Side to side here, friends. Side to side. Loosen up. Over time, come onto your belly. Take it really slow now. All the way down. From here, keeping the hands right where they're at. Now, relax your feet. Untuck your toes. This is known as a cobra push-up. Breathing in, we're going to press the hands down. Keep your elbows in. Now, as you exhale, let's start with a baby cobra. Lift up just a little bit. Keep squeezing the elbows in. Keep the neck long, looking forward, not up. Inhale again, lower down. And exhale, try that same baby cobra. Now, this is hard. I think it is anyways. Inhaling down. If you're ready to go deeper, exhale, lifting up. Lifting up all the way to that full cobra stretch. So much energy is gained from this one. Inhaling down. And exhale, baby cobra or full cobra. One more time in either option. Lifting up. Lifting up. Now slowly lower down. Great job. Heels towards bottom. Windshield wiper, maybe circling those legs around. Going one way and going the other way. Friends, let's all join together in a sigh, breathing in through the nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Ha. Lifting up and then pressing back to our final child's pose. Go as wide as you like with your knees and rest. As the head again touches the ground or your hands or a pillow, notice how clear the mind is at this point. Hopefully it is anyway. If you're still feeling bothered by something, take a few moments to release that, to let it go. Breathing out, worry, breathing out stress, breathing out pain. Wiggle your fingers and toes and now rising up to your hands and knees, slide the knees together and then take a seat. How are we feeling guys? Hope everyone's doing fantastic. It's a fantastic Friday. Shake out your legs and now bring the soles of the feet to connect. This is our butterfly pose. One of my favorites. We worked on opening the hips in the very beginning of our practice in that tree pose, helping to prepare for this one. Now just flap the knees up and down a few times. Think of butterfly wings flapping. 
And then maybe rock a little side to side, keep loosening up. Now we're going to start off with a very energetic variation of butterfly. So staying here, open the arms, inhale, take a stretch up. As you exhale, bring the hands behind you. Turn the fingers out in a way that's comfortable for those wrists. Roll the shoulders back, open the chest, open the heart. Now, if that feels okay to look up, go for it. If not, just look forward. Keep puffing your chest outward. Now, stay right here, option one or two. Press the feet into the earth and lift the hips. Now, if you're going to that option, really engage the core. Squeeze the belly. If it's not happening, no worries, right? Listen to your body. Know what's best for you. Hips down is a great one still. Take one more big breath in, shining your heart upward towards the heavens. As you exhale, lower your hips if they're lifted. Look forward, slide the knees together, and stretch both legs out. Give them a shake for our counter stretch. Flex the feet. Inhale, stretch up. And now exhale, fold forward, reaching for your toes, your ankles, your shins, wherever you can reach. Now keep flexing the feet. Lengthen the spine. Looking slightly forward of the feet. Breathing in. As you exhale, try to take a deeper stretch. Let's try that again. Just inhale. And exhale. One more time. Breathe it in. And out. Inhale. Start to lift all the way up, reaching forward now. And with that exhale, sliding all the way down onto the earth. Reach your arms back by your ears. Point through your toes. Take this full body delicious stretch. We call this one banana pose. Begin to reach the arms over to the right and notice the C curve in the body. Inhale back to center and then exhale over to the left. Let's try that same banana stretch one more time. Side to side. Inhaling center and exhaling to the left. Inhale, big stretch. And now as you exhale, hug both knees to your chest. Rocking side to side. Side to side, giving yourself the best hug ever. Bring the hands to the backs of the thighs and start to draw circles on the ceiling, going one way and then the other way. If there's another stretch you still need, take it. And when you're ready, come into your rest. And that could look a variety of ways. Maybe the knees are knocked together and your feet are wide. Maybe you're in that lying down butterfly. We did the seated variation just a few moments ago. Or maybe your legs are stretched out, your arms are open wide. Wherever you are, simply allow yourself a few minutes to be here. No stress. No worries or plans. No need to think about anything for right now. Just be. Relax your fingers and toes. Relax your ankles and wrists. Relax your shoulders and your hips. Feel the whole body. Become one with the earth below you. I invite you to stay here as long as you need. There's no rush. 
when the time is right, begin to come back slowly by wiggling the fingers and toes, maybe circling the ankles and wrists, taking any gentle stretching that your body is in need of. You could finish your practice lying down or maybe hug the knees to the chest, turning on to your favorite side for a moment or two. And then lifting yourself up very gently to a comfortable seat. We'll open our arms, just inhale here. As we exhale, I invite you to bring the hands right back into your heart space where we take these final moments to feel gratitude, to feel appreciation for this time we've had for our mind, body, and spirit, appreciation for this community we have, appreciation for everything we have in this moment right here and now, and we send this abundance, this love, this healing energy out to all beings everywhere. Please join me with one last side breathing in. Open your mouth, breathe it out. <sighs> Let's go have a fantastic Friday. Namaste. Thank you so much, friends. See you soon.